Hello, ladies. I am watching to see on my phone who is on. I'm doing this from my computer and I'm using StreamYard and I like to use StreamYard. And the reason why I like to do it is because that way I can show you some slides and the slides kind of keep me on track. It's kind of like my notes, but you know, then you get a picture and I just feel like that makes it, you know, better. So um, if for those of you who are watching, I really hope that you'll comment. And when you do comment, it's important that you, um, oh, look at this. It's important. I'm seeing some of your pictures of some things that you trashed on here. I'm dying. So funny. So funny. Okay. So um, are we live? I think we are. Okay. No, nope, I'm not seeing us. I'm not seeing us. Uh-oh, that's no good. Where are we at? Am I in the right place? I did it again. I did it again. There we go. Okay. Let's get going here. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Better? How are we now? Are we live? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Tell me we're live in the right place now. Right. Good. Okay. I'm not seeing us on our on my phone, so that makes me nervous. Is anybody watching? There you are. Hello. Hello. Jen Nelson, are you watching? Who is watching? Tell me, tell me hello, just so I don't feel like I'm by myself. I hate it when I'm by myself. I still so sad. Hi, Melissa. Hello. I'm going to turn this heater down. I have a space heater blowing right on me. I know it's not good for you. Somebody told me that's not good for your skin. And I was like, listen, I do not even care if it's not good for my skin. I'm cold. Okay. Hello. Who said they see me? Thank you so much for seeing me. Hi, Gail. Hey, Gail. You're the perfect one to try this. Look right above this video. See where it says StreamYard in blue? See the blue writing where it says StreamYard? If you could go click on that, if you click on it, then you're gonna give um, a Facebook permission to say your name. And that way I'll see you as your name, not just as a Facebook user, okay? So if you guys could do that, that would be great. Crystal, um, Kathleen already did it. Melissa Lilly already did it. Jen Nelson already did it. Melissa Armbruster already did it. Thank you so much, ladies. So how are you all doing? Okay, so I'm so excited for this because I did a little bit of research on a product and how long they last and how we can take better care of them so they last even longer and i found out some good news and i can't wait to share it with you all so i'm so excited that you're on there oh good good perfect gail that was absolutely perfect great 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 hey melissa good 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 christine i'm so glad that you're on you were so great last night on um Tiffany's party. Thank you for being so supportive and, and talking, commenting so much. That's so helpful. So, so helpful. So Jan Nelson is tracking all of our guests to see who, what consultant has the most guests on. And then she's also, um, she's talking, she's tracking guests and she's tracking consultants. So thank you so much, Jan Nelson, for doing that. Oh, I just so appreciate her doing that. She's such a great team player. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks for getting on. I know there's lots of things you could be doing right now. You could be watching TV. You could be cleaning your dishes. You could be taking a bath. You could be preparing for tomorrow, whatever you have to do for work. But you're on tonight. And so I just want to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us your time. So I've got some good tips and techniques for you tonight. And I hope that you find them helpful. You know, you always want to be relevant. You always want to be talking about what people want to know. So if you have anything that you would like some tips or techniques on, post it in the chat, okay? Because we really want to be able to do things that are going to be worthy of your time. And we don't want you, we want to respect your time. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull up some slides here because they keep me on track and I love them. So our hostess credit, shoot, 50% off. Our hostess credit is 50% off. And that just means that when you do an online party, you as a hostess gets 50% off your order. 
Isn't that great? I know you can do some serious shopping with that, right? And that's for our online parties. Hello, Rose Reynolds. I'm so glad you're on. Hello, Maxine Roberts. I keep meaning to get back with you. You got to come over and play makeup with me because I always enjoy seeing you. Maxine is the one that recommended that I get these bracelets that I absolutely love and wear them every day of my life. Thank you, Maxine. Okay, so I got to stay on track. Otherwise, we're going to be here till nine o'clock, and I'm sure you guys don't want to do that. All right, so hosting a party is so simple, so simple, and so, so much fun. We just had a party last night for Tiffany. It was Melissa's first online party, and Melissa did a great job, didn't she, Tiffany? And you were a great hostess, too. Thank you. So um, our hostess rewards are, um, Jan, great house. Hello, I'm so glad you are on. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you on. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so, um, and thank you for putting your name in the chat. Now, if you go, you know, remember, if you go right above here, you'll see where it's in blue writing, StreamYard in blue writing. If you click on that, you're going to give Facebook permission to post your name. Otherwise, all I see is Facebook user. Okay. All right. So, hostess credit is so good. So, you could do an online party. Remember, we set up the Facebook group. We do all the posts for you. We gather all the orders. We collect all the, the money. We give them all the, pro the product. And you don't have to do anything except for invite your guests and watch and talk and comment and that kind of thing. But I thought it was really easy. Didn't you think it was easy to host a party last night, Tiffany? You did a great, great job. I loved how much you commented. And I know Melissa's following up with all your guests. So that's awesome. So you're going to get 50% off when you do a virtual party. And then when you have 10 orders, you're going to get $100 in free product. 10 orders. So we're going to rally your troops of your friends to all place an order of any amount so that you get $100 from free product. Nice. And then too, when you have two bookings, you are going to get, as a hostess, you get this microdermabrasion set free. Microdermabrasion. Oh my gosh. This is the quality of microdermabrasion you would find in a spa or dermatologist's office because the alumina crystals are so small. They polish your face. They're great for um, your pores and they're great for making your skin look brighter, fresher. It also helps with irregular spotting and freckling and past sun damage. Gotta have that. You've got to have that. That's just all there is to it. Jen, hey, hey, Jen. Hey, Lydia. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on. Guess what we're gonna do next week. Oh my gosh, next week, I'm gonna try this. Now, I've never done it before, but my assistant, that I love, and you all love her too. You just don't know that you love her because you don't really see her because she's just kind of in the background, but she's amazing. Her name is Lisa. And so she's the one that puts together your packets. So tomorrow we're going to put together some packets for our Keep It Simple Sweetie Night, and they are going to have our liquid eyeshadows in them. I'm actually modeling them today. Do I look beautiful? You have to tell me I look beautiful even if I don't. Okay. Like make me feel better. Okay. So today I have on the Meteor Shower and the Pink Starlight. And I don't normally wear those. I was playing around with them. They are really nice. Okay, so we're going to send out samples of these. We have these little teeny bags. We're going to put a little bit of a little swipe in there. So make sure your consultant signs you up for the for these. We're going to be doing that next Thursday. Yay. Yay. Oh, Jane, you're so thoughtful. Yes, Kristen. Yes. And then how many? Oh, I don't even know why this slide is in here. You probably already know this. This is not in the right order. Oh my gosh. I got excited and added it because I used it last night in Tiffany's party. You know, we're the number one selling brand of direct selling brand of skincare and color cosmetics in the world. Did you know that? Isn't that exciting? So great. So great. There's a lot of competition out there and we're super excited. And I think that direct sales are better. And the reason why I think the direct sales are better is because you're buying the directly from a consultant who has a vested interest in making sure that you are happy. Because when you are buying from your consultant, you're helping to pay for some sports fees right now. This is the time of year that you sell enough Mary Kay to pay for your children or your grandchildren's sports fees or their new sports equipment. And we have women on this very, very, uh, uh, what are we going to call it? Facebook group tonight, that that's exactly what they're doing with their profit. I love what women do with profit. I love it. Whether they give money to their grandchildren, whether they have to pay for the stuff for their kids, there's a trip to Washington, D.C. coming up, I bet, that those little kids need help with. And so it's so great that that's what we, that's what motivates women in Mary Kay to build your business is to support their families and the little extras, you know? All right. Sometimes we have a little bit more months and money, you know? All right. This next slide is, look at 
this. I found this and I wanted you to show it to you because some of us are going to be going to Dallas this summer and we're going to see this very plant. This is the plant that is in Dallas. It's just five years old. It actually got this really cool award, isn't it? It's called the LEED Award. It's Leonard Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design because our building is 100% green. It has no carbon footprint. It's actually beautiful because I've been there. I was one of the first people to tour it, actually. I feel pretty proud about that. It's beautiful, super clean, which I thought all cosmetic companies were clean. I found out that's not necessarily true. So um, we're really proud of this right in Dallas, Texas, the good old USFA, where we do all of our own uh, right research, development, and manufacturing. Do you believe really, we do all of our own manufacturing? Did you know that? You know, a lot of companies don't do that, and only 2% of the, of the cosmetic companies in the world have that R&D. They do their own, and we're one of them. Isn't that cool news to know? I don't know about you, but I thought that was really cool. Plus, we make all of our own stuff. We don't like do the research and development, de develop a recipe, and then have somebody else make it. We make it. I love it. I love it. High quality. That's just us. Okay. Oh, that's blank. <laughs> These are some of our award-winning products and all of them have earned the good housekeeping seal, which means that if we didn't back it up with a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee, they would. Isn't that crazy? Good housekeeping would back it. So it's a very rigorous process. Look at how many we have on there. Unreal. Isn't it just unreal? Love it. Okay. Now, next week, we're going to be doing the liquid eyeshadows. The week after that, are you excited about these spring looks? I mean, look at them. They're beautiful. Don't you want to try them? I know. So Lisa, the almighty Lisa, well, I guess that's, I shouldn't call her the almighty, but she is great. She is coming and she's going to be putting together these soft spring looks for you. And we're going to be doing that on the 18th. Aren't you excited about it? I know I am too. Don't they look so pretty? They just look like spring. So if you have the makeup for spring, then spring will definitely come, right? <laughs> just one way of looking at it. Okay. Now, and then the last week of the month, we're going to play bingo. Yay. I love bingo. That's where we learn about lots of different products and you get to win product too. Oh, and what else? Oh, that's what we're doing tonight. I love that, Melissa. That's adorable. And then, oh, who has done a hydro session? Raise your hand if you've done a hydro session. Just raise your hand in the chat and maybe put a little word to describe it. Is it the best? It is the best. I mean, does your skin feel like a million dollars? I know it feels like a million dollars is so great. I know. So we're going to be doing that on the 21st. Make sure you get your samples and register for that. All right. These are all the samples that we're doing this month. Love it. Okay. And your consultant is going to do the happy dance when you decide that you are going to attend one of these functions. And of course, we're going to get some samples out to you. All right. Now, all right. Thank you. Nice description, Jan. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're talking about product and expiration. Okay. Like when a product um, um, expires and how long we could use it. So I did a little bit of research and I'm going to read to you. Which I know reading is kind of boring, but I think it's good. Okay. So the general lifespan of products, just like in general, is pretty much um, pretty like a lot of, a lot of our products have the date that they were made. So you can definitely, we can, you could tell us that there's a day code and we could tell you when it was made and everything, all of our products, except for our sunscreen products have a, uh, a flat three year shelf life. I mean, that's, if you don't open them, they have a three year shelf life and that's pretty common across the board with most cosmetic companies. But let's kind of dive into a couple of the, um, other other, you know, like specifics. Hey, Dee Dee, I'm so glad you're on. Thanks for getting on. Good. Oh, Janet, thank you. That was the best ever. Okay. All right. So let's talk about lipstick. Lipstick has a one to three year life for both creams and liquid formulations. You have to look at the product. See, this is the biggie when it comes to how soon products expire. You have to look and see if they have water because water can grow mold easier and so if they have the more water they have the easier it is for them to get contaminated oh wait a second wait a second stop the presses stop okay i'm going to clarify how this goes tonight okay okay so here this is how it goes so say you have um a, another brand's uh eyebrow pencil and another brand's brush and another brand's lip gloss and another brand's lip liner okay how many is that four Okay, 
and maybe another brands. Hmm. Um, we'll say foundation. Okay. So this is, this is it. You got five, pick five items from another brand. You could post them in the chat. Five things from another brand that you are sick of. I am done. I am so done with this. And so you're going to throw them away. You're just going to, that's it. I know. I know you paid for it. You don't want to throw it away. I know. But the time has come. You've saved it. You thought you were going to like it. You don't. Okay. So you're going to throw it away. So if I was throwing away these five items, I'd be able to get the replacement in Mary Kay of these five items for 50% off. So you pick five things that you want to get 50% off, not five sets, five things, five items and post in the chat. Thank you, Melissa. We're so glad that you liked your Hydra session. Um, I love, I love hearing that. I never get tired of it because I think the Hydra session is the best. And you know what, you guys, if you really love the Hydra session, you, why don't you invite a friend or two or six? <laughs> because your consultant is going to give you a freebie or a discount when you invite friends. And then that way you can get free product. And that's way she can share our products with more people because you're an influencer. I know you don't think about it that way, but you are, you're an influencer. And so, you know, you see all these influencers on Instagram stuff. And I'm like, you're an influencer because when women find something they love, they share it. So you might as well share any of these things that we're doing, any of these events that you're doing, tell your consultant that you want to share it. And then she can invite somebody and that, or that you want to invite somebody and your consultant will make sure that she gets samples too. And then she can come too. Won't that be perfect? And then you're going to get a discount on a, or a free product or something. I can't remember what we do for that, but don't worry, we'll figure it out. And so you're going to get a treat. Your guest is going to get a treat and your consultant has an opportunity to pamper your friend. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Sorry. I'm uh, I, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting off on tangents because I'm just so excited. We, we just, there's so many exciting things. Okay. So pick five things. You get five items, half price. So, Hey, Amanda Beckley, I'm glad you're on. Say hello. You and all your cute little family. So cute. Um, you do have a lot of cuties. I see your family pictures. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Got to focus. Okay. So who has five things? Who is right? I, I actually was kind of going off on that little tangent to give you time to write down five things. Write down five things that you were throwing away and you want the Mary Kay replacement for. Just post them in the chat. Okay. Five things that you are throwing away that you're going to replace with Mary Kay. Okay. And your consultant's going to take care of you. And if I'm your consultant, I'm going to take care of you. Okay. Now let's get back to products that have a lot of water. Water can really get bacteria grown in there as opposed to things that have more oil and then the oil can kind of separate and the product is not effective. So it's not that you can't use products that have oil or a heavy moisturizer. Actually, actually most products don't have oil in them, but they have like a heavy moisturizer in them. And so that starts to separate after a while, whereas water can start to get um, contaminated. So that's like a, that's like a, I don't know, like a bar a measuring, you know, kind of a measuring stick. Okay. So for both cream and liquid formulations, you have to look if the product contains water or not. We're talking about lipstick now, which usually lasts one to three years. If it doesn't contain water, then it's good for about three years. If you use the lip with a brush, you avoided contamination. So that's even better. Okay. But if the formula does have water, it's good for up to a year. So um, a lip gloss would probably be something that would, would have a shorter... Um, shelf life for two reasons. One is because the applicator touches your lips directly and also because it's got more water in there. Okay. Where a lipstick would last closer to three years. Okay. So think about that. How long does it last? And to be honest, you guys, you know, after a while, they just don't feel good. They don't feel good and they don't, the color doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, you know, I think cosmetics should feel good. They should feel good. They should smell good. And so after three years, the lipstick doesn't feel good on your lips anymore, you know, but if it feels good and you want to use it, you're welcome to. Okay. Blush. Blush lasts three years and that would be liquid blush, powder blush, or cream blush, unless the applicator directly touches the skin. Okay. So what you want, and one thing I will tell you too, hi, Cheryl and Steve. I'm sure it's not Steve. I'm sure it's Cheryl. Um, okay. So when it comes to blush, have you ever, have you ever have you ever had, oh goodness, how did this get like this? One of my, my blush broke in here. I don't know why it broke. It still would work. But have you ever had a blush or an eyeshadow kind of get like shiny, like a shiny film on there? Have you ever had that? 
You know what that is? A lot of times that is actually oil from your face getting into your brush, going onto your powder. I know, right? So sometimes, hi, Gabrielle. Sometimes what you need to do is wash your brush. If you have a lot of oil in your skin, sometimes what you do is you need to wash your brush because the oil from your face, getting it on your brush, getting on your powders is creating that like that hardness on the top. And so the, the product's not easy. The powder's not easy to grab. That's what it might be. And so a lot of times what you just need to do is just wash your brush and it will only take a couple of times where you're just, that brush will actually work that off for you. Okay. Does that help you? Does anybody ever have that where you just have that shine on your powder, on your eyeshadows, on your blush, on your bronzer, you know, that kind of thing, anything that's a powder like this. So that's something to think about, but blush pretty much lasts three years. Contour and bronzer are similar because they're kind of like blush. A lot of times it's just basically the um, pigments that are in there. So they can last up to three years, depending on the formulation and depending on um, on whether they're powder or whether they're a cream, okay? Foundation. Now foundation normally lasts about two years, okay? So, um, and then after, after that, what you're gonna find is that it's gonna start to separate like the product starts to separate and the color is not as, um, what do I want to say? Is not as quality. Would that be a good way to say it? The color just doesn't perform as well. So foundation lasts two years. Now, obviously foundation should not last you two years. That means you're not using it. So you want to use your foundation. You really do want to use it. And I'll tell you guys, of all the things that I think really, I guess I'm just speaking from, um, a woman with a little more birthdays than a lot of people. So if you've had a lot of birthdays, foundation is like a must. I think that foundation does a lot of things. Even if your skin is younger, it keeps the dirt out of your pores. And our time-wise age fighting foundation is designed to make your skin look smoother. It keeps the dirt out of your pores. And it also actually improves the, the um, complexion of your skin. So it actually works as a skincare product in addition to working as a color product. And so to me, foundation is everything. And I think foundation gets a really bad rap. You know, the cheaper foundations that we used to have, or maybe a foundation that's not right for skin can feel heavy or cakey, but a lot of times it's the formula, the foundation. And if you've been around Mary Kay and you've seen us, if you have your skincare, if you just take your cleanser and put it on the back of your hand and then wipe it off, and then take your moisturizer and put it on the back of your hand and then put a little bit of foundation on this hand and a little bit of foundation on this hand you would be amazed at how the irritating things about foundation people say i don't want it to look cakey i don't want it to not look even that's skincare that that's what happens is when you put it on i should have done that but we'll do this another time but when you do that you'll see that you can almost wear a foundation two to three to five shades off because it'll blend in with the with the um with the cleanser and the moisturizer underneath it makes a humongous difference. Whereas you put it on just like I want to say naked skin. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, I'm not going to do it, and it looks all wonky. It looks wonky because it needs some skincare to support it. The skincare supports the how smooth the foundation goes on and how it lasts. Now the other thing is our foundation used to come in a bottle. Now it comes in a tube, which is better because your chances of contamination are less when it's coming out of a bottle as opposed to a uh, out of a tube as it comes out of a bottle. Because you can see, I mean, the opening is so much smaller than like a bottle, okay? Plus you use less and you're gonna get more for your bang for your buck, all right? Okay, so foundation lasts two years. Eyeshadows are like blush, so they last one to three years. So um, all your eyeshadows will last one to three years. And then after that, most of the time you can still use them, they just might not last as long. They won't, the color won't be as true possibly, but eyeshadows can, they can, and everything can last longer. Matter of fact, they say that, you know, like expiration date on like on food. They say that's not really true. Have you ever heard that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've heard you could, you could eat it longer than that, but I don't know. Kind of scares me. Okay. So, um, so your eyeshadows will last one to three years too. All right. All right now eyeliner eyeliner and mascara now we're talking a different game because let me read this to you too because eyeliner is applied so close to the eye 
or directly on the water line. I'm not a big believer on, on the water line. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, okay. Oh, oh, that's a good tip, Melissa. Thanks. So because eyeliner is applied so close to the eye area or sometimes right on the water line, you're better off not doing it on the water line, just so you know. Um, it, they, it can be replaced every six months. It's too risky since the applicator touches the eyes directly and there's a high risk of infection. So pencil liner may last longer than liquid liner if you sharpen it. Okay, so this is significant. So these are our eyeliners, as you know. We're so excited because we're going to be, we, we actually, the deal that happened with our eyeliners is that we created the formula. We made the formula in our manufacturing plant, but we didn't make the shaft that they went into. We didn't make this part. And the, the company that we hired to do it was open on Friday and not open on Monday. I mean, they closed like that. So we had ordered a lot of them ahead of time and had them made, but they couldn't keep making them because they were gone. So they, so the, what the company did was instead of finding somebody else to make the shaft, we bought all the materials to make the shaft. And that's why our eyeliners are going to be fully in stock in April and our lip liners are coming late April, early May. Thank you so much because they are so great. So the deal with eyeliner is that if you sharpen it, you're basically taking off any contamination, right? So if you sharpen it, so eyeliners can last up to six months and even longer because of that, because you're cleaning them off when you sharpen them. And just in case you haven't seen it, hey, Christy, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Okay, so if you, why am I, I'm afraid I'm gonna pull it. Oh, there, okay, so here we go. Okay, so our eyeliners, as you know, come like this. Can you see that? And see how they twist up? Right. See that nice point on there? Can you see that? Okay. And then down here is the sharpener. So if you're sharpening them, then what you're going to do is you're going to be able to take off any kind of contamination or anything like that. So um, eyeliners, three to six months. I would say six months, actually. And two, if you look, this snaps really tight. So that keeps all that contamination out of there. Okay. And then lip liners, they didn't mention lip liners in all the articles that I talked about. Um, I would say that lip liner would probably last about the same as um, lipstick or lip gloss, um, probably more lipstick. And the reason why I would say that is because there's no water. Remember, we talked about with lipstick, you have to worry about water. So I would say these last three years. But of course, they're going to start to dry out by that time, depending on how often you take off the lid. That's just naturally going to happen. So um, I will tell you what they said at the end of this article was use it. So this is an excuse to use your product. <laughs> I thought that was cute. All right, let's see. Foundations, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascara. Woo, mascara. Okay, so mascara is such a big deal. And so when it comes to mascara, mascara has a high risk of infection because of how close we use it to your eyes. And it has a shorter shelf life than most products, which is three to six months. The other thing about mascara that I thought was really interesting was they talked about how this is the product you should be most vigilant about because eyelashes protect your eyes from dirt, pollen, and bacteria. A mascara wand can collect these particles, transferring them into the product. To the, reduce the risk of infection, discard mascara every six months. So um, I thought that was significant to think about, right, is the mascara. And this one happens to be our lash lengthening. See how it's got that curved brush? So it gets under there, it gets underneath those lashes, grabs them, and just like if you brush through them like this, if you take take it and hold it here and flip your thumb up, practice. Nobody's at your house, so nobody's going to laugh at you. But if you take, take a pencil and hold it out like this, your thumb is down here and go up like this, up. See what I mean? Because you're getting underneath the lashes going up. Oh, Jen, I'm glad this is your favorite mascara. What do you like? What do, why do you like it the best? Matter of fact, post in the chat. If you use the Mary Kay mascara, post in the chat what your favorite one is. I will tell you my favorite one is lash intensity because I have had a couple birthdays. My lashes aren't as thick as they used to be. And I love the lash intensity. But I do play around with another one sometimes on top just to spread it out because that lash intensity is thick. So post in the chat. Post in the chat what your favorite mascara is. Go ahead and post. Okay, so mascara, we're going to talk about every three to six months, okay? 
Thank you. Another vote for Lash Intensity. Oh, Jen likes how it... Oh, I love this. See? It's hard to pick a bad mask here with Mary Kay because all of them are so good. Isn't that true? All right. Now, they say concealer is six months to two years because it kind of goes along with your foundation, right? Liquid concealers generally last anywhere from six months to a year. Cream formulas, 12 to 18 months. And powders for two years. As long as the applicator doesn't directly touch the skin. And there's no separation in the formula. Any concealer that you use can be good for up to two years. Well, I mean, the applicator is going to touch the skin. Duh. But in my opinion, if it's touching your skin all the time, then obviously you're not going to need to worry about it as much because, you know, you, your skin is clean and you're only dealing with your own skin with concealer. So um, highlighters are the same way as concealers. Nail polish lasts three years, but actually they said it can last longer than that. Jan Nelson knows, right? Because Jan Nelson is the nail polish queen. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Oh, another couple of things that are really significant, in my opinion, too, are treatments. Like serums like this. Like this is our pore minimizer. Does anybody use the pore minimizer? You can post that in the chat. So these types of um, product serums come in a pump. So you're not having to worry about air getting to them. So these last, what was that what they said? Serums and treatments can last. Um, the active ingredients can degrade and lose their efficiency after a year. After a year. And that's just the ingredients aren't as efficient as they were. But they last longer than that because there's no air getting there. Okay. So that's significant. The other thing I think that's really significant is if you look at like our repair, look at that. I mean, there's no air getting into that. That's why we don't have to have preservatives because you know, you're pumping that out. So no air gets in there and it pumps out just the right amount. Right. So you're not wasting it. Okay. How are we doing? Is anybody having any questions about anything? Who is trashing something? Tell me what you are trashing. I cannot wait to hear about that. Tell me what you're trashing. Suzanne Harris, my baby sister. Well, they're all my baby sisters because I'm the oldest. Don't, don't rub it in, Suzanne. Do not rub it in. Okay. I'm glad that you're watching. Okay. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about was two things. Now, see this, would, this is our intense moisturizing cream, which is wonderful. Wonderful. This, um, this foundation to me is great. Oh, I'll talk about brushes, Melissa. This, this, um, this is an intense moisturizing cream. Now the problem with this is you're sticking your finger in there. Okay. So if you're sticking your finger in there, then if your if your fingers aren't clean, then you're taking that, the bugs and sticking them in there. No good. Right. This is no good. So, um, so with this, you either need to make sure your fingers are clean or you can use a little spatula, which your consultant has plenty of spatulas. So that's the difference in like this or like this, okay? Rose, you love this pink. You love this pink intense intense moisturizer and cream. You know, I should have grabbed the oil-free hydrating gel too because it's great. If you want just a little, um, but Rose, Rose is going to give us an advertisement on why she loves the intense moisturizer and cream, okay? All right, and let's see what else. Um, good, okay. I'm kind of looking through the, the um, comments because I'm looking to see what you are trading in. You're going to be able to trade five products in, five go in the trash of another brand, post them in the comment so that your consultant knows what five um, products you're going to be replacing with Mary Kay. Okay, now brushes. We're going to talk about, I don't want to forget brushes and I don't want to forget brow pencil and I don't want to forget brow tint. I think these are so, so good. Okay, and if there's anything else that somebody else wants me to talk about, tell me. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. All right. How many of you use our brow liner and brow tint? I'm telling you guys, this is like the best stuff ever. Now, I know that you can get um, all kinds of things done to your brows right now. But the reason why I love this is just so you know, this is the brow definer, the brow definer. This is designed for you to go like this and just do short stair oaks the length of a hair. Now, I already did this. I know, right? I cannot live without it. Thank you, Suzanne. Why do you love it? Okay, so see how this just goes short strokes the length of a hair? 
And the reason why you want to do this is because you want it straight up from the corner here to the beginning of your brow here. And then you want it angled here, the end of your eye to the end here. Okay. So what this is doing is this is framing your eyes like your hair frames your face. Also, if you've had a couple birthdays like me, I've had quite a few. What it does is it really lifts your face. I mean, it really, really lifts. See how it like, I was going to actually take one eyebrow off, but then I kind of got busy and I didn't. Okay. So this is going to, this is going to go on the skin and the way that you make this not look fake is you do short strokes, the length of a hair. Okay. Then you can use the brow tint. What color do we have here? Dark brunette. Um, I don't really want to use dark brunette. I want to use what I like to do. Is be, it's kind of like I highlight my hair. I highlight my hair so that I don't have to worry about covering up gray hairs. All right. So I do this to define my brows and then I do this to make them look thicker. And what I personally like to do is I like to do, uh, I do dark brunette or brunette and then I do dark blonde so that my brow tint is just a little bit lighter. So it looks more natural. Do you see what I mean? So it doesn't look like bleh. It has some texture to it, some definition. These both sell for 14 and I'm like in love with them. I think they're just absolutely great because the brow tint makes them look fuller because they're fuller when you're younger and they make that look fuller. And then it also kind of calms them down a little bit. And then um, the brow definer like um, defines them. Okay, so this defines them. This goes on the skin and this goes on the hair. Okay. And it does, it doesn't, it make such a big difference. I mean, it really, really does. But if you think about it like that, your hair frames your, frames your face and your brows frame your eyes and they give you a lot of lift. They really, really do. Cause you look, you need lines going up. Okay. So it draws people's um, face. They look up on your face. Does that make sense? And see, even just the way that I just like added to that a little bit, see how it just like lifts. So good. Okay. Any questions about that? Okay. And then Rose said, yep. Yep. This is a, just a little bit of extra moisturizer, right? Rose, this is lovely. Doesn't it just feels like silk? I love this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Oh, other brands, right? Suzanne, no other brands. Yes. Um, you can comment on why you didn't like them if you want to. I mean, you know, it's up to you. So fun to think that my sister's on. She lives in Alabama, so it's really fun that she's on. And she works a million hours. So I'm glad that you were off, and I'm glad that you chose to take your time off to join us. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is our brush cleaner and our brushes. Okay, so our brushes are made of synthetic and natural hair. And the reason why that is, is because they are, you can use them with creams and you can use them with powders. Now we have all kinds of brushes. I just brought over the um, foundation brush, but I want you to know that um, we have our brush cleaner, which if you are diligent about using the brush cleaner, it's designed basically to be used every day. It's very gentle. It has, I don't think it has added fragrance, but it does have a nice clean scent. And let me just read this to you. It says, cleans and refresh your Mary Kay brushes with a, um, a fast drying cleanser. Yep, it effectively eliminates makeup residue to provide proper hygiene, help to provide stay true color in between applications of different shades and textures. Okay, so, oh, I'm so good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Suzanne. Okay, so. What the cool part about this brush cleaner is if you use this, this sells for $10. And what you would do with this is you're just going to spray this on, on your brushes. Can you see? Boop. And then you're just going to take a washcloth or a paper towel and you're just going to go like this and it's going to pull all the makeup out of there. Plus it's the scent is fantastic. It's not added fragrance, but man, does it smell great. Okay, so this is the brush cleaner. This will extend the life of your brushes for sure. And our brushes are very moderately priced, but at the same time, they are fantastic and they last forever, especially if you take care of them. So what does take care of them mean? Okay, we're gonna talk about high, medium, and low level taking care. Okay, it's gonna be like a support group. All right, so 
if you're a really good girl, then you would like to wash your brushes every day. And you would just have a washcloth and you would, after you use them, you would just wipe them off. And when you do it like that, it doesn't take a long time because there's not a lot of buildup of product in there. However, there's some of us that don't. So what I do is I wash my brushes. Honestly, I know it's terrible, probably every couple of weeks. Now, and there, if you don't wash them as as often like and keep that residue down mine take longer to, to clean so what i use i'll tell you two things that i use um one is i use our three-in-one cleanser and bar it sells for just twenty dollars but it's going to last you forever it's also fantastic for shaving your legs our cleansing bar it sells for 20 and now what you're going to do is you just take this wrapper off obviously and you're going to have it in here and then you're going to take your brush anybody do this anybody do this Okay, tell me if you if you um, if you use the cleansing bar, and so then you just go like this. It literally just like pulls the makeup out of your brushes. It really does. It just pulls them out. So ideally, you could do it with like with this, like um, once a week, twice a month. But you could do it with this every day. Now, if you do it with this every day, then if you do it with this twice a week or twice a month, it's gonna be good. But if you don't do it every day with this, then when you use your bar, your um, your bar, you're gonna have to really go at it because it's really embedded in there. Okay, get it? All right. What do you use, Rose? Oh my gosh, Jan does it every day. What do you use to to get yours off, Jan? Do you use like a paper towel? Do you use a washcloth? What do you do? And you use the brush cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yep. And for ten dollars, I mean, it's so good right? And it's going to extend the life of your brushes. So if you're going to invest in brushes and two, you know, you really do get a better finish when you're using good brushes. You also get um, a better finish. Your colors are going to go on smoother and more evenly. And it really is going to last. Your, your makeup is going to look way better. And you know, your skin, your makeup is never going to be a 10 if your tools and your skincare are two, you know? Okay. All right. So good. Listen to these ladies. Listen to them. Do not listen to Beth Brinkley. Okay. So this is a great way to cleanse your brushes and that's a great maintenance. Okay. And two, if you think about it, you know, if your brush is clean, then your product is clean because this dirty brush going into your product, you know what I mean? I mean, it's all like a little cycle there. So they're right. I'm wrong. I'm very convicted right now. Okay. I have a store in my basement. I could just take one of these upstairs right now. All right. So I think that's all the things that I wanted to cover tonight. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Oh, oh. So um, you get five things at half off when you throw away five things. You need to post in the chat the things that you're throwing away so your consultant knows, and then you can get five things for half price. But if you have a lot of stuff, and you want to get a lot of stuff half price, then you just need to book a party. Book a party for your consultant. And she's going to set up a Facebook group. And then you invite the people to the Facebook group. And then she's going to private message them, find out what their needs are, find out what they're looking for. Why is she doing that? Because in this business, our company, our culture is completely different. What we do is we say, what are you looking for? What benefit are you looking for? What are you using now? How do you like it? How can I help you? That is what your guests to your party are getting from your consultant. So you kind of have to set us up a little bit because they think, why is she bugging me? I'll order if I want to, which of course is true. But at the same time, the reason why she is asking her and messaging her, which is exactly what we do, is so that we can find out a little bit more about her so we can serve her better. Now, what she buys, of course, is she's under no obligation to buy anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to recommend what we think she might want to look at. And then she can choose if she wants to buy that. And don't you love that setup? I mean, I just think that's the best as opposed to going online and going, hmm, let's see. It looks good on the very perfect Barbie model. I wonder if it'll look good on me. I mean, is that how you want to make choices about skincare and color cosmetics? You want a very personalized beauty consultant, which is what we do. We find out what you're looking for. We give you samples so you can try before you buy. And we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And just so you know what happens when somebody gives us a product back, there's a little number on the bottom. 
we take the little day code off the bottom and we take the item number. We have a form online that we fill out and this right here would sell for $14. So if you gave this back to me, what I would do is I would I would take those little numbers, I would send them to the company, and then they're going to give me $14 credit on anything else that I would like to have. That's it. That's how simple it is. I mean, it is amazing how great our company stands behind our product. Okay, now before we go, I'm going to show you one last thing because I don't think we've talked about it enough, and it's so ripping cute. Have you seen our pedicure set? Shut up. It's so cute. It's only $30. It's so cute. Do you, are you going to a graduation party? Are you going to a birthday party? Are you buying something for Mother's Day? Are you buying something for the secretary at school? Are you buying something for the teacher at school at the end of the year? Shut up. This is the perfect thing. And your consultant can wrap it up cute for you. So, I mean, you could give it to her in the box because the box is adorable. But at the same time, we could max, pack this up so cute for her. Kristen, you need a lot of things. You might want to find out what it's going to be like to be a consultant so you can get your product at cost, girly. You are adorable. I love you. She's so enthusiastic, you guys. She was like this last night, too, at the party. Okay, so in the pedicure set, we have a file. Nice, of course. Nice, gentle file. We have a foot exfoliating cream. And then that would be um, a foot cream. And this, these two, look how cute they are. I mean, are they cute or what? They're adorable. The packaging is beautiful. And then you've got this little heart-shaped pumice stone. Now, I mean, it's all fun and games to go get a pedicure. I like it because they paint my toenails perfect and not mess them up. But you're always going to need a little bit more scrubbing on those heels, right? And so this pumice stone is perfect. Plus, it's adorable. I think this is a great gift, or it's a great gift for yourself, ladies. I mean, come on. Okay, and, that, and this is rosemary mint foot scrub and rosemary mint foot lotion. Isn't it just so cute? I know. I love it. Now, think of the people that this would be good for, and then get one for yourself, right? And we always do buy two, get the third one for half price. Buy three, get a fourth one. No, wait. For every two that you buy, get you a third one half price. That's what we do. So, you know, if you've gone above and beyond the five items that you're getting half price because you're ditching five items, you might want to take advantage of that. Buy two, go one item for half price. Buy four items, get two items for half price. Right? Okay. So perfect. Perfect. It does pair well. And I'll tell you something else. This is a little tip. Um, it pairs well with the peel. And you know what else it pairs well with is the A, uh, PHA, AHA booster. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Put that little puppy on my husband's feet. It like ate the dead skin. Yes. Yes. Oh, good job, Kathleen. Yes. If you want to know a little bit more about that, the AHA, -A PHA, AHA um, resurfacing booster. Yes. Is great for resurfacing uh, your heels. Yes. Okay. This pedicure set's $30. Isn't it just adorable? I know. I love it too. All right. Well, I've talked too long. Oh my gosh. I've talked for like 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. If you've never watched us on Thursday nights before, I usually don't talk for 30. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I hope you've enjoyed yourself ladies. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I promise I will not talk this long next Thursday, but I'm going to put some samples in the mail for you. So make sure you talk to your consultant and get your samples. Also to remember that if you find too many products, then you don't even want to pay for them. Book a party. That's what I did because I was cheap and I wanted to get my product cheap. So, um, oh, worth it. Thank you, Melissa. So um, I booked a party so that I could get my product at a discount and I would highly encourage you to do that. And then I became a consultant so I could get a discount all the time because I wanted to get 50% off. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be buying this stuff for the rest of my life, which I am because <laughs> I love it and because I have to stay reasonably young looking, right? Or try to fight it. Um, I thought, well, I might as well just sign up. So if you want to sign up to be a consultant, it's only $35. And we can get you started with a branded company website for your customers, credit card processing for your customers. And then we also have our uh, website for you with product knowledge. And then, of course, you could invite your guests to our events. Thursday nights, now Sunday with the new uh, uh, Hydra session. So many fun things. All right, ladies. Have a great evening. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And I apologize for talking so much and so long. I love you so much. All your positive affirmations made me just keep talking. All right. Good night, ladies. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.